Leo Carl from Carl Chevrolet in New Canaan. Today we're here to check out the 2013 Chevy Volt. The Volt's the world's first extended range electric vehicle. It's very technically advanced. The Volt was designed with a lithium ion battery that allows you to drive about 40 miles a day using no gas at all, just energy in the battery. And then if you're driving further than that, a gas generator starts to produce electricity and allows you to drive as far as you want. You could take a road trip to Florida and simply stop for gas like you would in any other car. So everyone knows how to fill up their car with gas, but what's unique about the Volt is this charge door on the front driver's side. Let me show you the charger. The Volt comes with a portable electric charger. Uh, unique feature is this portable charger plugs into any grounded wall outlet at your home. Any three prong outlet that you'd plug in, a vacuum cleaner, uh, any other portable device you can plug in and charge your Volt. This end is what looks a little strange. It's a standard US electric vehicle charging plug. Any electric vehicle will use the same connection to charge the battery. So you simply plug into the charge port and you're filling your car with electricity. The lighting is very crisp, very contemporary, and adds a really high level of uh, luxury appearance to the Volt. Very cool, great lighting with projector beam headlamps, um, they're, but they're low voltage halogen lamps that use minimal amounts of electricity. So let's take a look at the Volt's rear cargo room. The Volt's a five door hatchback, so the rear opens up under the floor is stored the portable charger and uh, there's a luggage net and a shade uh, in the back. The battery is actually a T-shaped pack that comes down the center console and then underneath right behind the two rear seats and therefore it takes a little bit of space down the center and the rear seats fold down flat um, which really provides a lot of cargo space if you need to carry anything uh, larger. So the Volt comes with what looks like a standard key fob, keyless entry, remote start, security system, one extra button to open the charge door, and switchblade key. Uh, the ironic thing is you never need to use this key unless it's an emergency. Uh, the Volt has a keyless entry system, allows you just to keep the key fob in your pocket, and there's a small silver tab on the door. You simply press that once and it unlocks the driver's door, twice unlocks all the doors, and you're in the car. So now we're inside the 2013 Chevy Volt and uh, let's take a look at starting it up. It's almost like starting your phone or computer. Simply step on the brake pedal and press the power button and you'll hear a little whoosh and it comes to life. You, there's no engine starting, there's not a lot of noise, it's just very quiet. The first thing you'll notice about driving a Chevy Volt is how quiet it is. It's really amazing how little noise there is and you really hear uh, everything that's going on around you. This morning I had a, I noticed I was stopped at a traffic light and I actually was hearing uh, birds chirp outside the car. There's just no noise uh, from the engine. So we're going to hop on the Merritt Parkway here and check out the acceleration. We've had many customers trade in a lot of different vehicles towards the Volt, but the number one brand of trade-ins that we've seen on, a, on the Volt is BMW. The Volt offers all the comforts that you'd expect in a premium luxury car, cruise control, it's got uh, some safety features forward, collision alert, um, and lane departure warning so that if you start to change lanes or drift, uh, you'll get a little chirp. OnStar has some uh, very cool safety and convenience features. If you haven't had a vehicle with OnStar, it's a system that uses a combination of GPS technology and cellular communication to connect you to a live human being at an operator, an operator at a call center. OnStar can provide you directions. Uh, they can download directions into your navigation system. They could direct you to an ATM late at night, or if you feel like eating Italian food and, you, uh, and you're and you on a trip and you want to stop in about an hour, they can calculate where you'll be in an hour and make a reservation for you. We're going to hop back on the Merritt Parkway from High Ridge Road in Stamford. Head north. New Canaan's just literally five miles from Stamford, closer than a lot of people think. 
it's an easy drive. But in normal everyday driving, what happens is the battery gauge is gonna show you how many miles you have left in electricity stored in the battery. And once that's depleted, it automatically switches over to the generator. You don't have to do anything. There's no buttons to push. There's nothing to do. You just continue driving. Very aerodynamic. The outside of the Volt is so aerodynamic, it's actually uh, more aerodynamic than a Corvette, which is pretty remarkable for a four-door sedan. But they worked really hard at keeping the uh, wind resistance down, so it gets keeps it very quiet at highway speeds and it makes it the most efficient possible. You can connect your iPod or MP3 player and play your music through the Volt sound system using um, the display to control your music, heating and air conditioning, climate control. The navigation system is uh, very intuitive and easy to, uh, to understand and lay out. You can default icons on your navigation to show um, points of interest, restaurants, travel stops, um, community, uh, places like schools and civic buildings, or you can turn off the point of interest and just show the map. There's actually 288 separate lithium ion cells inside of a, of a battery pack. A lithium ion cell is about the size of a 5 by 7 picture frame. It's the type of battery you would have in a laptop computer. And what they've done is taken 288 of those cells and stacked them together inside of an aluminum case that's liquid cooled and heated. To date, we've never had to service a battery pack, but we do, and our technicians have gone to training at Carl Chevrolet to actually take this battery pack out of the car, and we have the tools and equipment to be able to service and replace an individual cell. We don't expect to have to do it very often, but the capability is there, and that ensures lower cost of ownership over the life of your car. So another common question that Volt owners will ask or prospective Volt customers will ask, how do I charge my car besides at my home? And the answer is there's more and more public charging stations becoming available. We're actually going to take a look and see if we can find one here in New Canaan. Uh, we've got a couple in our downtown municipal parking lot. In the area, there are multiple sites in Stanford. There are charging stations at the Summer Street Garage, at the Government Center, at the Transportation Center, at the train station. Um, several large corporations, including RBS down in Stanford, have installed charging stations in their parking lots for employees to use. Um, in Darien, Norwalk, Westport, all the towns along Lower Fairfield County, we've worked with CLMP to install some charging stations out in public. And we encourage customers that have a Volt or any other plug-in electric to use those charging stations. The more they're used, the more likely there will be more that will be added. And uh, right now, there's no cost, no additional cost to charge at a public charging station. As I said in New Canaan, and we're going to zip right in here and plug in. It's nice to have public charging stations like this, one in downtown New Canaan. Shopping centers around the area are installing charging stations and making it more convenient for owners of EVs in general to plug in and charge. Almost anyone, if you ask them, would say, raise their hand and say, I want to become more efficient. I want to become more uh, wiser with my use of energy. I want to see the U.S. become less dependent on foreign oil. And the Volt offers a very easy way for you to do your part. Here we are back at Carl Chevrolet. We actually, a couple of years ago, installed solar panels on a roof. We we're one of the first dealerships in the country to do that, and the first in Connecticut. And even though you can't even see them from street level, all on the roof of our showroom, we have solar panels that power, produce enough electricity to cover about a third of our electricity use here at the dealership. We invite anyone with a plug-in electric to stop by and plug in whenever you're in the neighborhood. I hope after this video presentation, you're even more interested in the Chevy Volt. We'd love to see you here at Carl Chevrolet. Stop in for your own personal test drive, and we'd be happy to put together a personalized quote on a purchase or lease of a Volt. We think the deals that we have available are exceptional. We have great inventory on the Volt, and we can get any color combination, equipment combination, in fairly short order. So we'd love to see you soon.